Praise the Lord. Good morning. Let's listen to today's devotional by Pastor Benedict James. Greetings in the most wonderful and blessed name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to this victorious and joyful daily devotion. Today's topic reconciliation part 3. One minute of reconciliation is worth more than a whole life of friendship. Gabriel Garcia. Few more quotes. There is no reconciliation until you recognize the dignity of the other, until you see their view. Courage is what it takes to stand up and speak. Courage is also what it takes to sit down and listen. Winston Churchill. Number 1. Reconciliation begins with God. Genesis 32 verses 1 and 2. Jacob went on his way and God's angels met him. What did the angels say to Jacob? Whatever was said motivated Jacob to admit his wrong and make amends with his brother Esau. I believe that God works in our lives the same way when we seek to enter his presence he reveals to us those relationships that are broken. and promises to make them right. Number 2. Reconciliation with God comes only when we reconcile with others. I repeat, reconciliation with God comes only when we reconcile with others. Those angels showed up for a reason. That reason, I believe, was to inform Jacob that before things can be right with God, they have to be right with his brother Esau, who has been offended. If we want reconciliation with God, we have to be reconciled with one another. Here is the principle. You can't live in harmony with your heavenly father until you are living in harmony with your human brothers and sisters. Broken ties with one another not only save your relationship with one another, it also saves the relationship with God. Did not Jesus say the same thing? So if you are offering your gift on the altar and there you remember that your brother has something against you leave your gift there in front of the altar as go and be reconciled with your brother or sister and then come and offer your gift you can see this in Matthew 5 23 and 24 verses notice carefully what what Jesus is saying he's talking about coming to worship coming to prayer and if you're offering a gift of money or praise and you remember somebody has ill or hard feelings against you go to that person and make it right make amends seek reconciliation it blesses us strengthens us and paves the way for a joyful and peaceful path help us lord to reconcile if we have offended someone and our relationship is sore for any reason so that lord We have the joy, peace in our lives. In Jesus' sweet and wonderful name we pray. Amen. Thank you for listening to today's devotional. God bless you. Have a blessed day. And always remember, Jesus loves you and cares for you.